So, you want to get yourself from here to this. But you don't know how to get started. Well, I'm going to give you a training plan structure, but even better than that, I'm going to give you the knowledge and tools that you're going to need to tailor the plan to suit you specifically. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more training plans, tips, tutorials, as well as weekly vlogs about my own family's fitness journeys. It's a no-brainer, right? Let's get to it. This plan is over six weeks, but if you need more time, you can lengthen it to suit your progress. My first tip is to put your ego in a box and put it away. Too many people do too much too early and wind up injured. I've created this plan to push you, but to keep it manageable. It's based on three days per week of run training, mainly 30 minute sessions getting slightly longer at the end. The first thing we do is have a cornerstone session, the one main session the week revolves around. Usually your longest continuous run, which builds each week. I'm a fan of a rest day beforehand and some strength and conditioning the day after. There will always be rest days between the run days. So now we just have to create the other two sessions. All the way until the 5K, these weekly sessions will be walk-run intervals where we'll gradually decrease the walking and increase the running. Your warm-ups will also start as brisk walks and eventually become gentle jogs. To keep it simple, I'll put a W and R next to the times to signify walk or run. In the first week, the warm-ups and cool-downs will be a brisk five-minute walk, and the first two sessions will be five lots of three minutes walk and one minute run. On the Sunday, we'll increase gradually to a two and a half minute walk and one and a half minute run times five. That's a total of 17 and a half minutes running over the week. Week two, we'll keep slowly building with another two and a half minute walk to one and a half minute run session, and then a two and two session times five. You'll see I've also decreased the warm up and cool down walk by a minute to keep the overall session length manageable, but you can play with that to suit your needs. On Sunday, you're doing your first continuous effort of six minutes, which will be in the region of a kilometer. Week three, the number of repetitions go up to six as we do six lots of two walking, two running, and six lots of one and a half minute walking, two and a half minute running, and finish the week with a two kilometer run for about 40 minutes of total running. Keep the build moving, we go to another six slots of one and a half minute walking, two and a half minute running, but you'll now notice the warm up is a gentle jog rather than walk. We move to a one minute walking, three minutes running and a continuous three kilometers on Sunday for about 58 minutes of running this week. Week five, the sessions get slightly longer as do the intervals. We have four lots of one minute walking, five minutes running, and four lots of one minute walking, seven minutes running, finished with four kilometers continuous. This is really pushing you now, but you're ready and your muscles have had time to adapt. That's about one hour, 26 minutes of running for the week. You're at the finish line now and the 5K's in sight. You've worked hard and we've finished with five lots of one minute walking, seven minutes running, and three lots of one minute walking, 10 minutes running, with the final five kilometer run on the Sunday. You've got this, the work's been done, now to win the mental battle. Here's some things that you need to consider before we finish. Don't speed this process up. Your muscles and connective tissues need time to adapt. Rushing only opens you up to injury. You can elongate the process though, now that I've given you the tools and the know-how to do it, but don't speed it up. Six weeks is the absolute minimum. Stretch after every single session. Keep those muscles and joints supple because your body will be going through some huge changes. And make sure that you don't skip the strength and conditioning. I'll put some more suggestions up here or there. I don't know where they are, but they'll be up here somewhere. Any questions at all, feel free to ask in the comments. Drop me a like if the video has helped. I just want to help you. And next week I'll do a 10K training plan, so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you Sunday.